Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the Epic Boards basic functions. So when you log in to, when you go to our website, you go to eb.epiphany.ai, you get to this page. You click the start drawing button to create a new Epic Board. Uh, this will create a very secure board for you with a long number generated by the computer which nobody knows and this will be your personal space. To share this board with other people, you can just click here and it will create an email uh, with them with the link to this secure board. So I can send it to myself uh, saying please join this board and I can get it on my other device which is an iPad. I can, I sh I can show you how you can collaborate with uh, another device really easily. While the email is coming, I can start drawing. So basically, you can just start drawing things normally, just like you would on a whiteboard. Um, if you were to type something, uh, you can just type typing on the screen. Right? Um, by this time, I have received that email on my iPad. I can join from my iPad as well. You can see the second participant will show up here. Let me refresh it so I get a different color. And now I can draw. You can see what my iPad is drawing. You can see on the screen that what I'm drawing the square now is from my iPad, and you can see what I'm doing, uh, who's doing what from that screen. So it's really easy to use. Um, you can increase the size of the brush by going here and then it will draw bigger. Um, if you type again, this is bigger font, it automatically takes a bigger font uh, based on the size of the brush that you have set. If you want a traditional eraser, you can go here and click this erase button and then you can erase anything on the screen just like you would on the eraser. If you want to go back to drawing or a brush you can pick the same tool and now I can start drawing again and at the same time other people are real time drawing with me uh, there's another cool feature if you're on a desktop where you can double click any of these lines and you can animate animate it so you can rotate objects whatever you have drawn if I were to draw a flower uh, the limitation is that it will animate a single stroke. So this is a single stroke. I can animate this stroke easily. I can also move the objects even if they are animating. So it will animate the movement. I can animate my own objects. I can make, animate other people's objects at the same time. Um, what else? I can also see when other people are drawing, you can see here on this screen, you can see who is active. If I were to open this, you can actually see who are actually typing at the same time, right? Um, uh, I can also save this board. So if I were to click the save button, it'll ask me for a name. This is a name and it'll save this board for me. Uh, so I can go back to it in the future as well. I can download this board as PDF as well. So if I were to click the download button here, it'll download the board uh, as a PDF file and I can add multiple pages to it too. So this was the first page. If I were to add another page, I can just go uh, click here and add a new page and say this is page two, right? And then I can add another third page. You can say this is page three. And all, all of these boards are also shared with the other user that are, uh, all the pages are shared. So you have to coordinate with each other which page is what. But uh, now if I were to save it, it will save all my pages. Or if I were to download it again, you can actually see that it will create the whole book and download all the pages. So you can see this is the page first page. This is my second page. And this is my third page. Uh, the Epic boards delete themselves automatically uh, in about four hours unless they are saved. If you save them, then they'll stick around for uh, two weeks right now. 
you can if you are on a mobile device for example and you want to animate things you cannot double click you will have to click this button and pick the object that you want to animate and uh, do whatever with it right you can rotate it there is also a clear button if you want to delete the uh, clear the board for everybody it will just clear all the objects on that board there is also tips you can see go back home you can see all your saved boards you can also load images so you can annotate it on the board as well as you are doing in the live editing on a mobile device you can also hide these tools so you can actually have more real, real estate to play with another nifty feature is that if you have a mobile device that wants to join this you can just click you can take a use your camera uh, and so I'm trying to do this on my phone. If I use my phone and take a uh, point the camera to that code on the bottom, it will directly join me to this board. So this is this thing that I'm you can see being drawn is actually I'm using my using my finger to draw for my phone, right? So it's really easy to use. Uh, you can have multiple devices, multiple people connected to the same board at the same time. That's it for the first video. This covers the basics. I'll show you some more interesting stuff in the next one when I make it. Thank you.